70 PSI, 60 PSI, 40, 30, 25, 50 PSI. How do you get the right pressure at your sprinkler for the specific spray nozzle that you're looking to use? I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. Okay, so first, let me just start by saying that pressure is one of the both misunderstood concepts and mismanaged principles in underground automatic lawn sprinkler systems, and it's one that is becoming sort of regulated by state. So in many states, let's just say in California, for instance, you cannot buy a traditional spray head body that does not have pressure regulation built into the sprinkler. So if you're looking to, let's say, maximize or optimize the pressure in your sprinkler, you have a couple choices. And one of the choices now is to insert the retro regulator into the body or the bottom of your sprinkler, and then you can dial in the pressure. So there is, uh, let's see if I can show it to you. There is a setting on here for 30 PSI at the top and 40 PSI at the bottom. And that is to be used or set based on the nozzle type that you have. So for instance, an MP rotor nozzle is ideally optimized for 40 PSI. So you want your pressure coming into your sprinkler to be at 40 PSI. And with the retro regulator, you can set that to exactly 40 PSI. Now, on the other hand, if you have a more traditional spray nozzle, adjustable or fixed, this type of nozzle is designed to be managed at 30 PSI. So with the retro regulator, you have both options. You can set this to be 30 PSI for traditional spray nozzles, and you can set it to be 40 PSI for the MP rotator type nozzles, okay? So the other thing I will show you here is that you can, this is the Hunter Pro Spray, and it fits right in the bottom of the sprinkler. All you do is you unscrew the, uh, the sprinkler body, pull it out of the canister, and then you insert the nozzle into the bottom of the riser, and then put it back together. So this retro regulator fits the Hunter Pro Spray. It also fits the Rainbird 1800 model sprinkler in the four inch, six inch, and 12 inch configurations. And it also fits the K-Rain, Weathermatic, Eritrol, Rainbird, Hunter. It does not fit Toro, okay? If you have a Toro sprinkler, then the retro regulator does not fit. And something also to think about is the price difference between purchasing a sprinkler with built-in pressure regulation is about the same as buying a traditional spray body and putting in the retro regulator. So what you might consider doing if you're looking to retrofit, which is why this is the retro regulator, is it's much easier to just get, get a handful of these, take your sprinklers apart, stick these in the bottom and put them back together. Otherwise, what you're gonna have to do is basically throw away the guts of your non-regulated sprinkler. So this product is a great way to not only make it easier to install, but also reduce waste because you're not going to be throwing away the bodies. And uh, yeah, just highly recommend that you give the retro regulator a try. Let us know how it goes. We'd love to hear from you. And if we can answer any questions that we might have missed on this topic or just pressure regulation in general, feel free to drop a comment down below. We respond to you every comment here on the channel. And thank you so much for watching. If we can help you with any of your other irrigation questions, feel free to send us a text message, email, give us a phone call, and I would be happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. Happy sprinkling, and we'll see you on the next video.